Hey, what's up guys, Luxie bringing you a new video, and today we are actually going to be taking a look at new 2024 summer sets for LEGO Minecraft. Now, this is pretty exciting. These are our first images. I'm sure we'll get even more detailed ones, more info, pricing, and all that later on, but uh, these are the first few images we've gotten. Honestly, all of these look pretty solid in my opinion, so these are a good chunk of sets, and we are expecting more sets to be revealed later on, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. First off, we're going to start off with set 212. 59 this is the pirate ship voyage now this set is a pretty nice one obviously if you're around back a couple years ago we did have the pirate adventure set the one with a bigger pirate ship it was pr pretty nice i still have it here behind me actually but this one coming with a few figures here we get two more pirate minifigures so that's nice if you have the bigger pirate ship you can add them to the ship to your collection all that fun stuff if you look closely the actual male pirate there is holding a skewer that is obviously what baby turtles drop when they, once they hatch and you need that to make the turtle shell helmet so that's a pretty neat detail we haven't seen that before and it's a nice little connection with the bigger pirate ship because that's the first time we actually saw sea turtles so a little bit lower there if you want to dig too deep into that along with that we also get a camel here a beautiful camel build one of our first camels we've seen and obviously one of the newer mobs in minecraft that they've added and this actually has a little bit of a different build you can see it's a, it has a wider body obviously to match the actual in-game counterpart and to leave room for that hump because i don't think they want to make a custom mold for that with the legs you can actually see they're using some clip pieces to actually represent them here and i think that's a pretty good fix or i want to say fix because they might still use the other pieces in other sets that we'll see but a nice little change for the camel specifically because if you added those regular pieces they always use for other animals it would actually make it seem very short in comparison but here you actually have a little bit more movement with the feet now if you really want to pose in specific ways but and it should hold up pretty well as long as you don't have it in some weird pose so yeah hopefully they're nice and stable i would imagine they'll be and we also get a squid inclusion here and correct me if i'm wrong but I believe this is the first time we've seen the squid since the underwater temple if i'm not misremembering that's actually pretty nice i mean if i get that wrong just comment down below tell me i'll pin the first comment that corrects me but i'm pretty sure it's the first time we've seen it uh, with that we also get a cactus and a little bit of a port there so not bad pretty cool small little set my guess with lego pricing these days is either gonna be a 20 or 25 dollar set which, uh, I mean, it's, again, to be expected. But you do get some cool figures here. If it's anything less, I'll be actually pretty surprised. So, who knows? Maybe Lego will surprise us. But, yeah, moving on. Next up here, we have set 21260. This is the Cherry Blossom Garden. Beautiful looking one. We don't get to see Cherry Blossoms too often. We see them in a couple sets. But, here they're in full display. And it has a lot of new little features. If you actually take a close look at it. Now, the obvious one being the sniffers. Here, we have the big build and the tiny one. I was actually excited to see how they would represent this and i think they did pretty well obviously great detail with the big sniffer i would like to see some like printed pieces on the side like little tiles but honestly they did pretty good with what they had here looks like it also has a little bit of a play feature you might be able to remove the head up and down that's just based on what i can see from this image looks like the sniffer egg of course with the baby one next to it and if you can see back there with the actual minifigure you can and if you actually take a close look back there with the actual minifigure you can see a pot there with a whether skeleton skull or maybe just skeleton design pretty hard to see with this image either way we're getting decorative pots now that's pretty nice we, we might be able to see some new designs and actual i'm assuming it's a printed piece i can't imagine they added stickers just for that so that would be a pretty nice piece to actually have you get a ton of new flowers here too you can see there we have the light blue one and the more turquoise blue and i mean just a generally pretty nice build you get some bees here i don't see a hive at least in this image but still nice addition obviously new figures are always welcome similar to the last set so i'm pretty satisfied with the theme so far they haven't disappointed yet while you can argue some sets are repetitive it still obviously delivers on some front for sure when it, whether it's new creatures or new figures speaking of moving on to our next set here this is set 21263 the badlands mineshaft now this is a pretty fun little build here as you can see we've already gone mine shafts and a pretty good one at that with the creeper mineshaft before I actually never gotten my hands on that set when it was out so maybe in the future here i can get it but anyways looking back at this set we can see a good bit of detail here obviously we can see cave spider inclusion here which is pretty nice they're not the most common mob for sure we got a little bit of a minecart on the chest that actually looks very nice there a little big but it's still nice to get here if you look on top of the building you see a bit in the open i mean it's inside of a cave so i guess it's a little bit protected there's i wouldn't do that personally especially in this environment but to each their own 
along with this a nice little detail is you actually get some crystallized cave there a little chunk of it and you actually, actually get a crystal there which is the common you know level crystal piece but you obviously fits there we do like those transparent bricks though i think we've seen this in friend sets or other sets similar to it but hey man it works just as well in this minecraft set no complaints here we do get a new figure here then we do get a horse here as well so a ton of cool little figures this definitely looks like one of the more expensive set my guess is like 70 to 50 dollar range you obviously need some filler sets here and there and i think this definitely fits the bill whether you like it or not so yep no real complaints here by me so next up here we have set 212 61 the wolf stronghold now it's a fun little set obviously you can see here not too much detail you do get the front of what it appears to be a stronghold as the set describes it you know how lego loves doing their creature builds now while this isn't a full-blown one you do get the head there so that'd be pretty fun to recreate in game and you do get a nice taiga wood door there i mean obviously wolves are you know heavily linked to taigas while they spawn in any forest taigas are pretty common i'd say you can find, find them there in the most commonly you also get a wolf untamed and an actual dog with a yellow collar on it so that's pretty nice i'm actually curious on how long they just added different uh variations of wolves similar to cats to minecraft so i wonder how long lego would take to add those in the game and how they'll actually do it because obviously the wolf build is a little bit more you know complex in terms of how they're actually built because there's a lot of little pieces in use compared to the cat it's just a body a pretty solid set 312 pieces looking like how your 30 35 dollars set and the actual figure here it's not bad either nothing too insane looks like a little bit of a robin hood type if you want to think of it that way as well as a wolf shield is probably the most interesting part and not a bad one it's an interesting design obviously they can't get too detailed due to the fact that it's minecraft and lego so they're trying to make it extra blocky but yep you can obviously tell what's on there and yeah it's just a fun little build if you really like wolves so yeah solid one there and it shouldn't be too expensive at least you would hope right but anyways moving on to the final set i think the most exciting one for sure this is the end dragon and the end ship set 212 64 now we always get excited for end sets here they're usually always free i mean i have no real complaints with them you see i have reviewed and covered every end set and they usually perform well and are the most fun so obviously there's a great correlation there we do get a new ender dragon build now this looks to be a little bit of a mix of the one from the 20 dollar set with the exclusive skin and the original end dragon that we used to see you can see there the detail and size of it they're definitely a little bit smaller than the original but a little bit bigger than and more detailed than the 20 dollar ones so that's uh, gonna be fun to take a look at something i did notice is with the head it stood out right away it's a little awkward at least looking at it from this angle you can see the horns look a little too short in my opinion but again that could change when we actually get in hand and take a closer look at that it looks like a molded head as well instead of the brick build one you can see actually in the front of the end shit there's also another one there so it's very nice and obviously as well as we also get an end portal you build a little bit differently just using flat pieces this time not going too much into detail we also get the ender dragon egg as well something we don't see quite often at all and on the side some coarse fruit anyways taking a look at the end ship the actual star of the set you know besides the ender dragon this is our first iteration of it i think that it did pretty good would i like to see a bigger more detailed one i think so but hey i mean keeping it affordable and something i was curious on is if it actually had an interior because you know there's a little bit of good detail obviously in the in-game one where you can go in and get some loot and see what it has to offer but taking a look at other images here it actually has a little bit of a small room you can see they actually implement the obsidian floor if you're not familiar with obsidian in like the middle of the floor just as a straight line across leading to the other side of the ship that's usually the room where you find the elytra on the iron frame as well as some treasure chests or you know regular chests with good goodies in them but before that on the way down is a staircase with a brewing stand that's actually what they include here they have a brewing stand there which isn't bad i i like they at least have some detail for sure if we're gonna get a small build i want a little bit of detail and they actually do that in a little interior and it opens up pretty nicely so that's pretty nice at least they include that they, we obviously do get an elytra with the new two new characters here one looks like an ender eye creature the other one a somewhat end themed skin as well so yeah, that's pretty much it for all the sets that we've seen so far. Obviously, new ones could release, you know, by the time I release this video. Oh, hold up, guys. A new set just got revealed as I was editing this together. Here we have the Windmill Farm. Now, we don't got the set piece or the set number just yet. I'll add it in in case it gets revealed a little bit later. But 
You can see here it's a very colorful set, a beautiful one, honestly. Look at all the colors, different colored sheep, the nice birch tree. We also get a loom here, which is that our first iteration? I actually don't know. It might it might just be. We have also a different villager barrier, which is always nice to see. And the windmill general looks nice. It looks like it actually spins. So I'll be curious to see once we get more sand images how that'll look. And yeah, small little set here. This this might be a uh, no. I can say twenty dollars, probably twenty five dollars at the least for a generous amount. I feel like that windmill build is going to be a little bit pricey on the Lego win. But yeah, it looks like a nice one. And hey, another pretty good one for the wave in my opinion. So anyways, back to the outro. Yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoy. Tell me which one's your favorite. And if I had to pick one, obviously, <laughs> we're, we're going with the end ship here. Again, would I have liked the bigger one? Who wouldn't? Especially, like, the price is a little bit higher. Would have been very ecstatic for that. But we still got a few more sets to look forward to. Who knows what they'll be? I'm excited. A ton of new creatures as well. And with Minecraft's most recent update, who knows? Maybe they have, they're cooking up something for us already in the LEGO camp. But anyways, guys... I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Consider becoming a member to keep being the addiction. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good and safe for the rest of your day. Adios.